What is going on everybody and welcome back to SoCal Exploring. My name is Scott and you're watching your stop for all things theme park and attraction related. Today we're here bright and early in the morning at Disneyland. Gonna rope drop Rise of the Resistance and try out the standby wait time for the first time because we haven't tried out standby. We're also gonna get a huge update on the different construction going on in Mickey's Toontown and just updates all around the theme park today. Right now it's time to go test out the Rise of the Resistance standby queue. It's been out for a while but we haven't been here like early in the morning to see how it is at rope chop. If it's immediately like an hour wait or if it takes some time and it's like a walk on right as soon as we get in. So we'll go see right now. We're about like 20 minutes away from official park opening. And it looks like it's gonna be another busy day here. I mean, I know holiday break just ended for most schools. I'm not too sure how it is in Anaheim, but it is the Tuesday after you know the general holiday break that most schools would be out on. Well everybody, an attempt to ride Rise of the Resistance this morning, it was a failure. Um, first of all, the line wrapped all the way through Galaxy's Edge, which is expected, but obviously we got here early and we're like, we're waiting in line and we're pretty close to the front um, as far as the crowd goes. So I thought we'd have a fair chance at getting in there right away. But uh, yeah, I'm not waiting in no hour long line for that and I'm not waiting through Galaxy's Edge because that looked way longer than an hour. Now keep in mind, I, I do believe it goes by fast, but uh, yeah, just not my cup of tea. I don't know, it was just chaos getting in and everything, and you know, it's like a normal Disney crowd, but that's kind of why I miss boarding groups, because you didn't have to stand in a crowd like that and get all close and shoulder to shoulder with everybody. I don't know, is that just me? One day we will test standby for it, though. Mark my words, we'll get here extremely early and stay in a hotel or something. Now that it's 9 o'clock, we're headed into Toontown. First thing we're gonna do before checking out any updates or construction preparations is ride Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin and see the new uh, couple additions of Jessica Rabbit that they added in there. Scratch that, looks like Cartoon Spin isn't open quite yet, so let's pan over here to the left and check out the construction on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And you can already see the facade going up for the El Capitoon Theater. That's where guests are gonna enter in. It's actually construction workers up there right now working on it. But this has definitely had a lot of progress in the recent months. Now that we're actually seeing shape, it's a real exciting. And to think that Toontown will be closed in literally two months. In March, they're closing it down to completely renovate it and reimagine it to fit with the theme of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It's gonna look real pretty in here. It's gonna look completely different, that's for sure. And for those of you who don't know, here's kind of an idea of what that facade's gonna look like when it's all finished. You know, Hollywood Studios has the Chinese theater and we're gonna have this beautiful theater. It sucks because we're not going to be able to like see the progress of it once they start adding detail and whatnot because it's actually going to open up when Toontown's reimagined. So we're just going to see it brand spanking new. I'm sure we'll be able to get construction shots at different angles and whatnot, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult than we think. You can see that they're starting preparation for the Green Hills to enclose Toontown. Make it feel like you're actually in your own little town and in a cartoon. It's going to be a lot taller than they were before since the building for the actual attraction is as big as it is. I like how they still have this little uh, stand right here. What would you call this, a gazebo? A yeah. uh, gazebo. So we get a, a good shot of everything going on as far as construction goes. You know, now we can finally say it's opening next year. No more in two years. I feel like the queue's gonna be better. Though yeah, the queue's gonna be. It's gonna be like, way more like themed and like looking better and like feel like more immersed. It's like moving Yeah more of like actual feeling like you're in a cartoon. Kind of like all the like houses in here, you know what I mean? All right, Cartoon Spin is officially back open. So let's head on in. This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna 
bothers me. This will make a swell world. Well, that was fun. Nothing like too crazy as far as what they added. They added two just grabbed it figurines. I, I didn't watch like any spoilers or anything. They just said there was new additions as far as just grabbed it goes and making her more part of the storyline in there. So I didn't know what to expect. But those were two good ads. I, I want to walk down to the Gadget Go Coaster area, see if there's any preparation for Toontown down there. I highly doubt it, but you know, we can go check. Yep, as suspected, doesn't look like there's anything quite going on yet. But you know, one big question is will Gadget Go Coaster get a retheme? Will there be a new theme around this area or will it stay the exact same? I'd assume they'd freshen it up, you know, uh, just a bit. I, I don't think that they just won't touch this at all. But will there be a retheme of it is the big question because that'd be awesome. It'd just be the little ads, you know, that they can add in while they take this whole year to renovate the whole land. And of course, right here we have the beautiful Mickey fountain, but there will be a brand new massive fountain, which I'll put a picture of that concept art on the screen right now. As soon as you walk in, to Centennial Park is what they're calling it. And that fountain will be interactive just as this one is. And the different interactive stuff on this fountain is there's little steps underneath me. They step on like I'll step on right now and make noise. You guys hear that noise? Kind of, sort of? I'll do it again. There you go. They have them all around the fountain. Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage is supposed to reopen this winter. They've had those signs up since last year. We don't know when that is. Last time we checked up on it, it didn't look nearly complete to be ready to open up. But we're gonna get on the monorail right now, take it over to Downtown Disney and see if we can see anything from the monorail queue section. Yeah, after seeing this and seeing that there's still like a bunch of stuff going on in there, I don't think this is opening up in the winter time. I think it's gonna be more springtime. I see a bunch of the submarines over there all covered up and whatnot. I don't know guys, and then they got this giant white sheet that leads into the cave area over there. I hear work going on. And that's not just Autotopia cars. I actually hear work going on. If you go above, you can hear people working on in, in the cave and whatnot. But I don't know, it just doesn't look like it's nearly ready to open up anytime soon. But here's the hoping, right? But on to downtown Disney we go. To number one, go check out this brand new Winnie the Pooh like home collection that they got going on in the world of Disney. And as well as see if there's any new merch that's been added since it is the new year. And I also want to check if there's any preparations at all in regard to the 2022 renovation that's going to be happening at Downtown Disney by the AMC Theater. And realistically, I should say former AMC Theaters because that theater has not been open for a long, long time. Came into the Disney Home Store. We didn't have to go in World of Disney to find the Winnie the Pooh home collection. Got this cute little rainbow pillow with Winnie the Pooh and Piglet in the middle. As you can see, how much is the price? Oh wait, it says stuff on the back too. Oh, oh, oh. No price? Oh, there you go. 35 and then on the back it says, A Snuggly Sword of a Day, Winnie the Pooh. That is super cute, super cute couch pillow. And then we have this, what looks to be wall art? I don't know, I'd, I'll just call it wall art. Is there any hooks on it or anything? Little clips on there. It says, Look what I made. The display, little arts and crafts. How much is that one? $40. And then we have like a, a laundry basket? Not a laundry basket, but I mean, you can throw laundry in there. Maybe your socks and whatnot. Oh, it has two? What's the other design? Can you see that one? Oh, it has the rainbows on that one. 40? So we have 40, 40, and then that one's 30? 45? Oh, oh, 35. I was gonna say the pillow's the most expensive. Yeah, cute little home decorations. We'll go over to World of Disney still and see if there's any more. What I didn't notice um, that Savannah was talking about is when she meant the hooks, I meant little clothespins back here. Like I said, so like for arts and crafts, like perfect for a kid's room. Made it into the World of Disney. Found this really cute long sleeve slash like sweater. Doesn't look that thick. Does it feel thick, Savannah? Medium. Like this, this reminds me of my Christmas one that I have. I, I really like the cream color that they got going on and like that kind of like light bluish slash purple that they have. How much is that one? Periwinkle. Periwinkle, okay. Very cool. 45? Ooh, the temptation. I really like that one though. This is also a new sweatshirt. Uh, it says play in the park. Obviously has Disneyland and DCA, and then they have 
of the Disneyland Resort logo on the side of it. They do have a New Year's shirt right here, which has 2022 on the top, and of course Mickey and Friends. I believe that this is just the New Year's exclusive merch, but they obviously have uh, plenty here on this rack. And then right behind it is the actual official Disneyland 2022 merchandise. This design is a lot better than years prior. Like I remember 2021 and 2020, those designs weren't the greatest, but these, I like these a lot. The sweater is really cute. The crew neck, how much is a crew neck? 45. I kind of like that shirt though. The tie-dye shirt is, I'm really digging that one. Let's see. Yeah, they do need like actual ear ears because those obviously have been out for a while, but it would be nice. And then of course they have that whole design all over the place. 2022 is an exciting year for like progress as far as the whole resort goes, because in this area they will begin renovation actually this month in January. We don't know when the exact date is, they'll begin to renovate this area to make it a more updated downtown Disney district and like a more modernized from what the concept art looks like. So it's gonna stretch from here, the former ESPN zone and Earl's sandwich all the way down to essentially where the Lego store is at right there. And all this area will be completely renovated, like I said, beginning this month. Which also means y'all better get your visits into the Star Wars Trading Post if you haven't visited in there at all, the former Rainforest Cafe location, because that will also be closing down. And I don't think that they'll be bringing a Star Wars Trading Post as a part of uh, this renovation. I think that was just a, a downtown Disney thing when the parks were shut down so they can put Galaxy's Edge merch in there. It's gonna be a little bit weird not seeing this giant building that was the ESPN zone and then it went over to like a pop-up art show with photo ops and whatnot and now it just kind of sits there. Um, recently it was home to, they just used the gift shop center, the former ESPN gift shop for just exclusive merchandise that you can make, book a reservation for and go and be the first to buy but since then it's just been literally a building for advertising and that's all it's been as you see all the Disney Plus stuff up and whatnot. Made our way over to the Disneyland Hotel because we're gonna stop into Trader Sam's Tiki Bar, have ourselves a couple drinks, eat some lunch. We made it in right at opening at Trader Sam's and I love how it's all decked out for the holidays in here. All the Tiki guys got Santa hats on and whatnot. And we're just tucked away here in our little corner waiting for our drinks. It's so pretty. Oh, look at the little Santa guy up there. And now they have a whole bunch of stockings all over the place too. If you guys ever get a chance to come to uh, the Trader Sam's Tiki Bar, highly recommend it. It's really nice in here. Here's a quick look at the menu. I'm getting the Tiki 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 Rum because that was recommended by a server, David. And then Savannah's getting the Mosquito Mojito. Here's the Tiki 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 Rum. And then the Mosquito Mojito. First shrink, first thoughts. That's very sweet. After the pit stops and the Trader Sam's, we've made our way over to Disney's California Adventure. I wanna go check out the World of Color progress, see if it's still drained, I'm assuming it still is, but World of Color is supposed to return this year. Don't know when, I made a prediction in our 2022 announcement video that I think it will come in summer. So we'll see, see if there's any progress on it at all. Well, would you look at that? Summertime is looking a lot more like springtime since all the water's back and it looks like the jets are already bubbling. That's real exciting to see because it's been drained for quite some time now and it's just, we've been watching the work on it. I'm assuming after Festival of Holidays it's completely finished, which is like at the end of this week, that they'll start testing World of Color at nighttime or at least testing the jets a little bit. You know, I'm really excited. The only thing that I'm still like curious about and still like leads me to believe that it's not gonna be until summer is all that, like that platform over there. The far back, you can see that there's still work going on. And look at the little seagulls in the middle. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me tell you though, since it's cold outside, it'd be a perfect day to ride either Grizzly River Rapids or Splash Mountain as they're both posted at a five minute wait. I mean, it's not too chilly outside. Like if you're brave enough, you don't get cold easily, then it'd be perfect for you. So 
like 63 degrees outside in Anaheim. And it's sunny outside too. There's no clouds in the sky. So. Oh, well, everybody, that's going to do it for our visit here today to the Disneyland Resort. Hope you guys enjoyed all the updates. It's going to be an exciting year for sure. There's lots going on. Lots of construction that's going to be coming your guys' way. And lots of construction for us to film and uh, have fun looking at it. Seeing the progress and whatnot. We had a great day here. If you're new here, consider subscribing down below. Those bell notifications on and leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. My name is Scott. And I'm Savannah. And we have been SoCal Exploring. Positivity is key. And most importantly, we're here to explore. Peace out, everybody.